I'd like to thank the organizers for invitation. This is my uh, second visit to ITEM all these years. Uh, the, uh, so I uh, like to, uh, I also apologize for, for, for not uh, uh, having the title sent in uh, early enough. Uh, I have been uh, debating with myself whether I should talk, some, talk about something that is uh, of great interest to Martin on his solid tone or whether uh, on this. And also because this is a field that uh, I think in recent years, this is a subject in recent years that has uh, a lot of progress. Um, uh, I think what I in particular have in mind the, uh, the, the work of uh, uh, Ben Lev, and whom, uh, 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 with him I learned a lot. And, and, uh, so I like to um, uh, talk about uh, the uh, physics of high speed particles. And one of the reasons is that uh, uh, throughout the years, even up to now, I still receive questions from uh, uh, my friends and also young people, and, uh, or even older uh, physicists, about uh, uh, what's new about quantum physics. And basically, they say, well, I mean, you may be able to do lots of things, but we, but you are just re doing something that, uh, uh, that, that we condensed metaphysicists have been doing, and then uh, maybe try to uh, maybe a better setting to discover things, but are there any truly new things? And it, uh, uh, I do think that we have many uh, new exciting things that is not seen in condensed matter. Um, that this, uh, I think the high spin particles is certainly one of them because you just imagine that electrons uh, in metals have a spin uh, 11 half, like, uh, like in uh, dysbosium, and the world will be changed. And then the, uh, the, the, the uh, what kind of superconductivity that uh, we would have, and the and just imagine that boson and that the uh, atom likes uh, so much of the light, and then if light has uh, not one or two polarization, light has uh, one hundred polarization. Well, of course, that's a very interesting Maxwell equation, but uh, but, then, but that is a kind of thing that we have, and then the the the, 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 the question is that what are the new physics in in, in, in these systems, and. Um, in addition, I think at the moment, uh, in, in the last few years, we have a lot of interest in synthetic gauge fields. Uh, we, in my opinion, come to, uh, Martin can correct me, uh, we might come into an impact. The question is, how do you overcome the heating problem? It's a serious problem. I, may, I, I, I do hope that we will have some progress and, and breakthrough. Uh, there, are, there may be different ways of, of, of making big breakthroughs. One may be to, to find some clever way to cool them. The other one is completely do away with the Raman processes. Uh, find a new way to generate synthetic case fields. The third way, which is some of the things that we suggest now, but I think we should attack it at all fronts. Uh, um, uh, in a collaboration with Ben, and we uh, think that uh, the high spin particle could be a, uh, a system uh, in which that uh, one would have a very good opportunity to create a uh, synthetic gauge field with much less heating, in addition with much stronger uh, 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 synthetic gauge field strength. So these are the uh, messages I'd like to uh, convey to you. And then uh, the work I'm going to discuss is, uh, 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 is uh, one which I just post on the blog. We just sent it to CONMAT and then the uh, we, uh, I, I think it might uh, come out today or tomorrow, and then there's some work that uh, I have done with my uh, former associate, uh, and now he's in uh, Beijing, in the uh, Jai Wei, and he's been uh, uh, doing extremely well in, in, in many areas. And then, and some of the, uh, and then I also would like to mention some of the older work, uh, not just because I would like to mention it because I, the, 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 because of just my work, but because I think there are now experimental progress that, uh, make, that may make them relevant. And the one that I have in mind is sitting on the front row, that is Salem, and that uh, you're coming now to interest uh, uh, him in, uh, in thinking about some of these things. Um, because now, because of the, the progress that he has made. Uh, here are the examples of the uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, high spin atoms. And then the, the earliest one that we have are the alkalis, and then this now may not be that high, but, but, but at that time, many years ago, this is exciting because we, it's the first time we have bosons that is not spin zeros. 
the 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 the, 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 the boson that we 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 know and, and love so much in condensed matter are helium, and they have fantastic properties that uh, uh, that. Uh, uh, However, that is, is spin zero, and then this, these are spin one bosons, and then uh, and then the, the potassium uh, 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 has a very large spin, and up to this point, after all this all these years, and I think I don't think there are yet uh, 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 experiments exploring uh, exploring the the uh, uh, the, the spin properties uh, of, 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 uh, of potassium. Uh, then, uh, meanwhile, then the, there's a there's a the, uh, spin the, 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 the highest spin uh, uh, bosons, and the uh, but recently I think uh, Ben has made uh, uh, a significant jump in uh, in, in, in condense in in, in 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 putting this in this group of <coughs> uh, lanthanides in the uh, the, the dysbosium, uh, uh, uh into quantum quantum degeneracy. And these thing, and these bosons have very large spins compared with the, uh, uh, what we had before, and then the, the fermions, have, and, and also I believe we have large spins. The question is then, uh, what can we do uh, with them, and then, or, uh, well, or what can what can they do for us? That the now I would make the point that uh, uh, the question actually is uh, is uh, is. Uh, is pressed on us by sheer logic. In fact, that the, 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 uh, 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 even without its mental motivations, then for theories, then then then, then there is a there is a very strong logical uh, drive to consider these problems, which is uh, suppose I, I I think it all summarized in, in the Hamiltonian of this form, which is in all the many body the first couple of pages in many body physics books, and we we have this very well from uh, 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 from, you're familiar with Hamiltonian for bosons. Well, my main, the, 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 the many body, body physics books do not put in gauge field, but suppose that it has some charge, and then so these are the so the bosons, and then and then you go on to the spin a half uh, 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 fermions, and uh, this is actually even though it's written as a form of contact interaction, but this is actually a Hamiltonian used by many people who study electron physics. Uh, the now the question is that what happens if I generalize a spin, the, 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 the degrees of internal degrees of freedom to very large degrees of freedom? So let's say from say one half to to twenty one divided by half, by, by two, and then or the for a very large number of the, the, uh, the, uh, or both of large spins. In that case, so the the, it, it, the gauge field would also have an interesting structure. Uh, so, uh, so what I'm going to do today is to talk about some how some of the basic phenomena that we know of uh, that we're familiar with in the case of lowest spins, how would they generalize to higher spins? And so I would like to talk about the, the both condensations and then the, uh, and then the, the uh, also uh, 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 the pairing and then and then they want to talk about gauge fields. Uh, as I was writing the talk, I realized that it w I would not have enough time to talk about fermions, so I would just limit myself to bosons. Uh, the, uh, now, immediately we have a problem. The problem is the following, that it's, again, it's a conceptual problem. Suppose that you have a, a boson for high spins, how high, as, as high as you want. So the, now, say, and also suppose system, for some reason, well, just the total world is really friendly and nice and perfect. That that you have a high, very high spin degree uh, uh, symmetry. That means that, that, that you can that, that all the energy is occupying all the all the different states are, are equivalent. Now the boson begin to, to, to wonder which state I'm not going, I'm, am I going to condense into. So that higher the spin, the, the tendency or the, 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 of, of 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 damaging the the the, the, the both condensate is higher, and so. Naturally, one would have the question: Is, is that uh, that uh, well, even even though the both the, 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 the power of the uh, both condensation is exceedingly strong, because both are always look for places where you can find the lowest energy condensed in there. Is it possible that you could have a uh, non-condensed uh, uh, 
both systems. And, 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 and that question is actually framed, I mean, for those who, who are in condensed matter uh, would recognize, that question is actually very much close to, 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 to the question of spin liquids. Spin liquids is a both systems, in many ways a both system that refuse condensed. So, so I would also like to address that question. Um, let me first talk about the uh, 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 large spin bosons. Now, suppose, let's say, suppose everything is a, uh, 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 so a continuation of the usual situations. So I have a Bose condensate in the scalar case, and maybe now if I have a spin one half, or a spin three particles, spin six particles. Now I have, then I have a condensate. Now the condensate is simply of a sort of, of, of many components rather than just one single number of a bunch of them. Now, how am I going to uh, discuss the, 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 the describe condensates? You say, well, I can just use this vector. But are there better ways to understand it? It turns out there is, and then it turns out that it, it, uh, the, uh, it was uh, uh, the answer, uh, again, another great discovery of my drama. And now, well, I'm going to give you a very simple, sim simple uh, 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 of a cartoon way of discussing it, and then I'm then I'm going to give you a quick, but then the, so, so that is more vigorous way of doing it. Here is two n plus one, two f plus one, complex number, and so, but there's there's some normalizations. So 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 so, so only two f two f complex number that is a uh, that that is a uh, uh, independent. So yet yeah, all this number two f number, they just slow them down on the plane, and then you have, you have two, two F points. Now, and then you say, well, but then we all know that, 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 that this complex number, you, you do stereographic projections and you can wrap them up in the sphere, so, so all these two N points can be mapped into two, N, two F points on a, a sphere. Now, so, so that, in other words, that there's a one to one correspondence. If you give me a set a number, there's a way to map this, this number in this process in, on, the, on, on, the, on the sphere. Now, the, the, it, well, mathematically, the, 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 the proper way to do it is that you, once you give me this set number, I can construct a, num, a, 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 a spin state. And then now, if you use the so-called stringer of representations, and the, so you, if you do quantum optics, you, you know this very well. And then you just can write every angle momentum states in this form. And then now, but then once you have written in this form, you recognize that by the, uh, this is just a polynomial of A and B, and then by the uh, famous theorem of uh, fundamental theorem of algebra, then you can okay, always diagonalize, but you always factorize it. You can always write in a factorized form, so therefore, how, how, no matter how complicated it is, you can always write it in this form. And then, and each, if you look at this, then you recognize that each, each, each object is specified by a Spinner, because it's a two compact number, and then it's like a spinner half particles, and the spin any spinner half particle can be mapped in the point of the sphere, and that's all there is. So that is the, the now. But you say, okay, wow. So 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 what? The, 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 but imagine that. Suppose your system is particularly nice. Oh God. So 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 here is so for example example both for spin one, spin because I I, I say the two air particles. So spin one, there are two points. And then spin three, there are, uh, for spin two, there are four points. Spin, and for spin one, it turns out that ferromagnetic state corresponds to, well, I'm not going to explain it, but the ferromagnetic state corresponds to two points collapsed to each other. And then the, 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 the so-called pneumatic state or polar state, and then the corresponding two point and antipodal point. In the case of spin two, when begin to see something <coughs> different, and then you can see, for example, if you minimize the energy, and then 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 one discover that the, 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 you get you get a state like this, it's four point con, uh, uh, collapse here or two point distributed equally, and this again the generalization of this. But you get something like this. What what is this? And they did connect it up, and it looks like a tetrahedron. And the uh, and this is the first in this first found in the energy minimization is named as a cyclic phase. Now, just look at look look at any of this that you discover there's something unusual. What is unusual is that in, but this comes from energy minimization, right? Energy minimization means that in the Hamiltonian, I have some parameter, some energy parameter. But, but if I get one of these states, <coughs> what aspect of this would depend on the parameter? There's no way, because if they have a high symmetric, the structure itself does not really depend on the energy of the system. And that is a very, very, very remarkable situation. That means that if I find one of this, I find it for some value of the energies. 
then it must exist in an in a big region because that because because this structure is independent of what the energies are. So these are referred to as inert state. So therefore, one. So, so there's a tendency, or so, so there's a natural, just to look for the most symmetric states. The most symmetric state meaning that you just look, have a sphere and then just assign point on the sphere and then make it most symmetric because these are the structures that it would be independent of the energy parameter systems. And then the most natural ones are the platonic solids. And then, uh, 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 the, so, so these are the structures. Now, I'm not going to uh, uh, tell you the, uh, the, the energy of the, of the disposium because the large spin, that the more that the larger the spin, the more um, uh, uh, interaction parameters, and then so we <coughs> take some model and then uh, just try to understand what kind of phases we have, and these are the examples that uh, we have uh, found in uh, some published papers. Now the next question is that okay, suppose I find this. I mean, Ben say okay, well I find this, and how how do I know that I find this? And uh, one way to 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 to, to, to it turns out it has a very nice signature. Why suppose you have a Suppose you have a state which has a, let's say, symmetry axis around here. And <clears throat> suppose it's an n-fold symmetry axis, let's say there's a, a, a five-fold symmetry axis around here, for example, this one. Then you will discover that when you measure the spin along this, along this axis, and there must, be a, there, there, there must be some entries that are zeros. And, and the number zero is depending, reflecting on, 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 on the symmetry of the, the, the info symmetry of this state on this sphere. And if you, for example, suppose I have one of these really very nice states. Let's take, 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 take one of these uh, uh, icosahedron. And that means if I look at, look, look at this axis, if I measure things along this axis, then, then I would be seeing four zeros and then, then, then some entries, not zero. And then now I, I apply a a, a magnetic pulse along certain direction, and then I just flip the whole thing around, and then afterwards I measure again. It turns out it comes back to itself. So that means so so that is the the way to have the symmetry that can be explored. Now the next thing I'm going to ask to, to, to ask is that now is is a question that I, I addressed before. Is the ground state can the ground state be not both ground states, and uh, uh, so now. Let me just consider at the moment, I can do the experiment that uh, Salem uh, uh, would do. So I have a very tight trap. In this tight trap, I'm going to put a few particles. Three, five, six. Here, I'm, I'm putting too many. But let me put fewer. And I have, here, I'm giving an example of spin one particles. But I hope Ben will do an experiment, put spin, I don't know, eight or in there. The, the higher spin, the phenomenon is richer. And this, I just want to show you just uh, what, what happened even just for spin one. Now, the, for, well, you, you may also say that so far I have not talked about the dipole energy. If dipole energy is going to be, could, for a larger spin would be important. But there are settings that is not that important. <coughs> like it's a single well, it's just, just single well. Suppose you happen the well is very round. And then you can show you can flow in water dipole energy because because if you're in a single mode approximation, you're, you, you're all the wave function all lock into that mode, then the only de spin degrees of freedom is is a spin. So the all the only so for spin one, no matter what you do, you always come back to, to, to this form. Spin two and spin four and spin nine, eight, nine, then then you have more term, but but but, but you you you, you <clears throat> But 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 it's, it, it, it's uh, it, 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 it would, the dipole energy would not change the general form of the of, of the <coughs> of the interaction. Now the question is that for this state, suppose I put six or ten particles or fifty, what? Then what is the ground state? Because the Hamiltonian just a, has this simple form. It's just the total the, the spin square. Now <coughs> I'm not going to do the mathematics, but just 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 say that suppose I did two type of ground state, which but this one type of ground state which is most natural. The, 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 the expectation uh, coming from the let's say from from the, the this is BEC treatment. The, the general approach is that suppose I'm Newtonian, I do B, I, I assume there's a BEC. That I, if I BEC, that means that I can replace operator by its expectation value. This is positive. Let's say happen to positive. So all I need to do is to, 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 to make the expectation value zero, and then one simple way is to do this. I condense everything into a this this state would have the x component give it zero because you there's uh, no communication to one and zero, and then and then z component is always zero equal to the, 
and then same with y component. So, so th this state makes this is equal to zero, and very good mean is the best mean field state. And this state, and then you can trivially make the equal up and down, and then you measure the fluctuation. It's the nature of the coherent state. The fluctuation is a, it's a, it's a Poisson distribution. Now, however, this turns out, I mean, as also you can convince yourself, not convince yourself, you can just by inspection that know that this is a, the, the, the best state, if you quantum mechanically, is a singlet, because it's exactly zero equals zero. It turns out if you put this in, you've got two mean field states, it's not exactly zero. But you, the, the one that's the exact state is actually exactly equal zero. Now, and then, it, then, then, then how am I going to construct a singlet state? Turns out, for this state, that singlet is unique. That means if I give you the answer, that's the answer. So, the answer, so, so how do you construct singlet? Then you just put every two pair in, two particles in the singlet, and then just keep producing singlets, and then that's the answer. That's the, the uh, uh, so it just have a, some, that many, so all the pairs, all this particle pair in, in a singlet, and this one has night and date difference. The number of particles is one third. The fluctuation is gigantic. This is a, this is the uh, a generalization of showing your cat state. The fluctuation is also microscopic. Is 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 also n squared. So what happens is that if Salem or Ben they do this uh, single well, okay, so they. It actually is better to do just one single well, you don't, don't contaminate it with other things. You suppose, suppose you can do it, put it in the ground state, but like the, 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 there is a, but, if, but suppose you can put it in the ground state, and then you just do it 100 times, and you collect statistics, and then you, then you can see whether this really, all the components one third, or whether the fluctuations is this, or, the, or the, this, this and that, is a very different signature. Now, however, they don't say, no, I can't put everything in the ground states. You say, it, so no problem. It's just bosons. No. So, 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 is it easy to do? Okay. It's bosons. Ah, okay. So, so, suppose it's really hard to do in ground states, but not, no problem. That, let's look at the dynamics. The dynamics is, now, the S squared, just can, well, I, 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 you can write down, you can write down the, 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 the in detail. But, this spin Hamiltonian has a particular term. That term because it's spin one, so it would have two particles in zero, and then go to one minus one. Then if it's spin h, then you have gone to one minus one and go to five minus five, four minus four. But then once you have the before, can get into five, and then there are the lots of the lots of stuff that, that will go on if you go to higher spins. And this is the simplest case. That now what would happen then? And uh, this I would consider, I mean, to just get Alan pay attention, that it's very related to the Einstein, Wolkowski, Rosen experiments. Why? Because here, in that experiment, you have two, suppose you get a two photon here, go to the other side. But, uh, but imagine that we have, you have a special kind of galaxy. On the other side of the galaxy, it will come back. Somehow the photon will come back also in phase. And then it will scatter again, come back again. This is what this is what this is. This saying that suppose I put, suppose I have done dumb a lot of particle in the zero state, and then particle will go to one and minus one. And then the more and more it go to one minus one. But these are bosons. They have bolos, they have bosonic enhancement. And then after, because now after you, after you have two big bosons about here, then they will have also a strong tendency of coming back. So on and so forth, and now this turns out that it because of, because this, when it becomes too big reservoir, the interaction is sufficient. Is the the, the, the their tendency for it to go this way and go to, on both ways. So 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 it's not just simple oscillation. The answer turns out to be something like this. Let let me just uh, 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 take a little time to uh, uh, explain. So uh, uh, I wouldn't go through too many mathematics. This is the only page, and the the, the answer turns out to be here. <coughs> Now, if I dump everything into zero to start with, and then see how, how it moves, uh, how, how it evolves, and then only, because it could go one minus one, right? This is a, this number of particles in one, zero, minus one. So it's always at, 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 at the, the particles on, on the, 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 the one minus one that are the same. So I can specify the entire state by just looking at the particle at, say, say at, 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 at m goes to one. And so the, the general spin state I can write in this form, and then now I'm going to find the uh, wave function by evolving through the Hamiltonian turns out to be sufficient, sufficient simple. I'm not going to do the calculations, but uh, 
just want to tell you that the answer turns out have some very nice properties, which is written by here. That this is a self. Well, turns out you look at it carefully, it's actually self similar properties. That means that suppose time is very large, or uh, so, so, so 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 you can get something from a uh, from a long from from a very short distance, but time very large. It means very short distance behavior. The short distance like by by x, I mean the short, but this x is the number of particles at m equals to one. So suppose I, 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 I the m, the, the, the number of particles in the m equals one state can be go from zero to n over two. So the large number and small number that related by these relations, for example, the, the one example here is that, uh, so, so just give you an example of how they cascade. So if you plot out this, this function, which you can measure experimentally, and then this is the picture generally. So the, the, there's a, when you look carefully, that there, that there, there's a cell, if you take one piece over here, you can actually map it out onto various pieces and map by magnifying it. And so what, what, so what uh, one can do in experiment is that you just try to measure the number of particles at a certain time. And at different time, you'll be getting different images, and then there, 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 and there are that these images are correlated to each other at, uh, at, at, at different times. Well, uh, uh, so I just want to give you a favor of what, what is possible, uh, 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 the, what, will hap what will be happening if you have small clusters and then that uh, allow them to evolve. And if you have spin nine part or spin eight particles, it would, be, it would be fantastic. Now, I'm going to go to the last topic, it's about the, the synthetic gauge field. And I as I mentioned, that uh, 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 there's a, in the conventional, uh, in the current way that there is a heating uh, problem. And what one, one, uh, maybe one way to, to maybe describe the heating problem is that, uh, just, to, just to indicate there is a problem, is that the first experiment of EN have shown you a vortex vo uh, lattice about eight or maybe seven or eight vortices. There are no more, large, there are no more, the, there are no more experiments that have seen larger vortices. Whereas we in rotation, you can get 120 vortices in both gas and more. Martin, or for, for Fermi gas, can get, I don't know how many, 80 or whatever. Or many, yeah? So at the moment, the synthetic field, if I want to go to quantum hole limit, has a long way, even to compare with the conventional method. So the, 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 the origin, but but, let, but but before before we discuss how to overcome it, let's uh, have a, some just brief uh, 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 cartoon picture of uh, what 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 the synthetic gauge field is all about. Just a little, here here illustrate that suppose you have a spatial varying magnetic field, then you, you then then the the, 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 the spin are all aligned. Or say there are some spin so at, at locally you can find the spin aligned states. But suppose you flow away all the spin except. The, the green arrows, and then you write down Hamiltonian the green arrows, and then you you, you then 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 then, the, the, then then within this uh, low energy Hamiltonians, and then then you 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 then then because you are seeing as if that the spin is all always aligned in that direction, then then you see a gauge field. Uh, the, 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 another way to look at it is that that, that suppose now you you, you you walk on the straight line and then say that oh, let's just walk on this floor and then, then, then you see no force. But then somehow someone, for some reason, they, they were able to twist the floor around. But you are still, you still have insist that I have to walk on a straight line on the floor. The only way you can do it is to have a gauge field when you walk around and then some, there's some force acting on you and then that, that, uh, uh, to, to force you go along the, the, the original geodesic. That is the original gauge field. Now, but this again immediately has a has, uh, open an, another question. Here we assume that the local Hamiltonian would give me a state that's very favorable. So, so I have some physical reason to map everything into this state. What happened? What happened if the low energy manifold is not one single state but two states? Then I have to map the low energy manifold into these two states, and that and in that case, then you get typically you get a non really engaged field. In fact. You typically uh, that you get a spin orbit interactions, and that is how the, uh, the, the so that's that's a way to, in my opinion, is a useful useful way to understand some of the current experiments. 
And this is the current scheme that used by many experimental groups. You have two laser lights, different polarization. This, and then you have an external magnetic field. And this light is going to, is going to stimulate sigma plus and sigma minus excitation along this, along, along this condensation axis. And this one stimulate pi transitions. And the end result is that one impart the momentum into a particle while flipping its spin. And the spin at the same time, let's say I spin one particle, is seeing external field, which may have a gradient. And at the same time, then it has a quadratic Zeeman effect. And that is the entire, that's all the, all the possible, that's the, the, the entire dis, a full display of the Hamiltonian for the, for the alkalis. Now, what happens if you generalize it to the dysposium, which are higher spin, which has a different atomic structures, one discover the following. You have the same structure, except what? Well, dysposium don't have the same one, so it's gone. But this is something new. There's something new is that there is a tensor contribution. That this, this is not only, the only linear in, 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 in F, but then this, it turns out there's a, something that's quadratic in the spin operator. And for those who, when, all of you do, who know quantum optics very well, and this, uh, this comes from a tensor, tensor light shift. The other one is uh, the linear light shift. And this light, so, but, but these shifts are also very important for, 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 for heating. Let's look at the situation for alkalis. Well, alkalis, the heating rate, I mean, the order transition, the second order transition given by this, is, this G is a laser intensity, and then this delta is a detuning from the, this, 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 uh, this, uh, this two lights environment process, and there's a detuning from, the, from this level. And the, but now for the alkali, it turns out that there are two excited levels, and then so one actually have to uh, 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 add, so add the two processes. And it just happened that these two processes have a, uh, a opposite catch gun coefficient, so that the Raman, so, so, so the Raman strength is given by delta squared. And this is the, hyper, the hyperfine turned out to be, say, in the case of smaller than the tuning. And if I look at the heating rate, the heating rate is given by the imaginary part of this object, which is also when, the, when delta is much larger than the width, then, then, then it's given by this. Now, the outcome for the alkali is that the, the heating rate and the, the, uh, this and, 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 and the strain of gauge field, they scale the same as uh, delta squared. Now, for dysposium, it turns out it's different uh, that the uh, 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 that because the, the type of the, the fine structure, or one of them is a uh, three more minutes. <laughs> it, it, it far away, so you only have one level to do with. So as a result, the heating is still delta square, but the strength of gauge field is one over delta. Now here's a comparison between the two cases. The comparison is that well, uh, the, the, this is what we had before. The, you only need to look at this too. What it says is that if I compare the heating rate of dysposium and alkalis, and then for the same kind of detuning, I can show that the, 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 the dysposium is, is, a, is a 10 to minus 3 better than the, uh, uh, the alkalis. And then you use a, one that achieves the same Raman strength, and then you also just get a very large reduction. Unfortunately, my time is running out, so I, I, I would not be able to, 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 to tell you uh, the, uh, um, the, uh, uh, the rest of the story. And uh, I hope that uh, well, the, uh, I would have uh, conveyed to you some of the uh, exciting physics. And uh, I think this uh, uh, is an area that is uh, truly unique to co -items. Thank you very much.